ladies welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually going to be a highly requested video here on this channel this is an updated brow routine um, tutorial video this is going to be a voiceover video so you're basically um, just gonna see me going through my brow routine and then I'm gonna kind of be talking over the video I haven't done a video like this um, before so let me know if you prefer um, the talk over videos or you actually um, prefer me to talk through it um, the reason that I did it that way is because um, it does take a while for me to do my brows and this would have been kind of a long video if I would have shown you like my actual um, process of how long it takes me um, to get my brows down pat but I did want you guys just to know um, the gist of how I get my brows to come out perfect each and every time and I did do a brow tutorial months and months back this is an updated one with the products that I'm currently using now um, which would be this um, product right here the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil and I also use this product here this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder duo um, in soft brown and then I'm still using my um, matte concealer to kind of clean up my brows so um, I hope this helps you guys I hope this answers any questions that you might have about how to do your brows if you um, have any questions or you just want to give me you know feedback or whatever please comment below um, if you have any requests for future videos definitely comment below let me know what you think um, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye. Okay, so starting off my brow routine, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm going to take the spoolie side and just kind of comb it through my brows just to kind of groom my brows and clean everything up. And then I'm going to take the other side where the actual product is. And I'm going to start out by lining underneath my brow. So I'm just going to do a nice clean line across the bottom of my brow. And you want to be careful not to extend this out past the outer corner of your eye. Um, and then I'm going to go in and just line the top part of my brow. And you want to make sure that the point on the outer corner of your eye that you kind of connect it with um, where you drew the line at the top and the bottom of your brows. And then I'm just going to kind of go in and I'm just going to fill in um, the rest of my brow with this pencil. When you do fill in your brows, um, you do want to make sure that you're not going way outside of your natural um, arch of your brow. As you can see, my brows are very, very thin, so I do have to somewhat create um, a brow shape. But if your brows are already thick, um, you definitely just want to make sure that you're just kind of filling it in and giving your brows a nice even shape on um, both sides of your brow. You definitely don't want to make it look, you know, fake or um, not natural. You want to keep them as natural as possible. And as you can see, you can already see a huge difference with me filling in my brow and me not filling in my brow. And so basically, I'm just going to go over to my other brow. I'm going to do the exact same process. Start by lining the bottom. Um line of your brow kind of um, going on the bottom of your brow and then you just kind of go through the top of your brow and then you just fill in the middle and don't worry if you make any mistakes especially on the top of your brow kind of going outside of your natural arch because when we apply the concealer we're going to clean everything up so um, you can just kind of take your spoolie and then you can kind of just brush off the excess product if you kind of um, went outside of your brow arch or you know you make any mistakes okay another tip with lining and kind of shaping your brows you do want to make sure that you kind of go for a slightly thicker shape than what you would normally like your brows to look like in the end and the only reason I say that is because as you'll see when we apply the concealer the concealer is going to take away a little bit of the product and it's just going to clean up um, any excess product so you definitely want to have more product on there versus not having enough product and you'll essentially have to do everything over and over and over again and so this is the concealer we're going to be using this is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer I'm in the shade NW20 and so I'm going to take an essence of beauty brush that's double sided one side is a flat tip the other side's a concealer brush I'm going to take that flat tip side go around one time 
um, in my concealer and I'm going to take that flat tip side, go underneath my brow with it and over my brow with it. As you can see, I did not um, dip my brush back into the concealer because with this matte concealer, a little bit goes a super long way. You don't have to use a whole, whole lot of concealer um, because if you do, you're gonna be blending forever. And so I just took the opposite side of that brush, which is the concealer brush side, and I'm just going to be blending all of the concealer out. With blending the concealer out, it's okay if you wanna leave a little bit of concealer underneath your brow bone because what that is gonna do is give you a natural highlight. So when you go to do your eyeshadow, you'll already have a little bit of a highlight underneath your brow bone. But you definitely want to make sure that the concealer on the top of your brow is blended. And so I'm just going to do the exact same process to my other brow. I'm going to flip the brush over and just blend all of the concealer out. Um, if you do kind of want to speed this process up, which like I said, I didn't want to have y'all watching it forever. As you'll see, I kind of took my finger and blended it out. Um, you could do that or you could take a Q-tip and you can kind of... Um, rub the excess concealer into your skin um, blending it and that'll kind of speed up the process as well Okay, brows are completed. As you can see, they're not gonna look the exact same, which is what you want. You want them to look natural. You don't want them to look like you stenciled them on. The next step, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in soft brown. And it does have two sides. You don't wanna swirl these together. You want to apply each individual color. And I'm gonna be using an angled brow brush. This is by Essence of Beauty also. I'm gonna get a little bit of that lighter color, swirl my brush um, just on the lighter color side, and you wanna point your brush in the direction of the outer part of your um, brow. And this is just gonna give you some more definition. If your brows are very thin, it's gonna um, make the tail of your brow really defined and stand out a little bit more. And if you want to stop at the lighter color, you can, but I like mine to look like really, really defined. So I'm going to use both colors. So I'm going to take that darker brown color, kind of press it into the inner corner so it doesn't look so unnatural. And then I'm going to do the same process to my other brow, kind of press it in the inner corner, drag it out um, so that the product is even all the way through the brow. know what's going on with my lighting but okay and then I'm gonna take my spoolie um, brush again and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the edges make sure that there's no um, stray hairs that are outside of my natural brow shape and my final step I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel you can use any clear brow gel that you want to and that's what the brush looks like and I'm going to just press this into my brows you don't want to drag it through your brows because that can remove a lot of the product that we applied and there we go brows are done thank you so much for watching this video I'll talk to y'all very very soon in another video bye